Hello and welcome to our first tutorial and in this particular tutorial we are going to look at uh, this question which has the instructions that we want to see that we cover in this particular tutorial. We have a question here stating or asking us to create a database using any database management system of our choice and that we should call the database Kasare Limited and just coming down here we have a list of instructions that we are supposed to execute so we are asked to create a table and save it as employee table in the database and then after that we are supposed to enter the records in that table now I've just listed here a few things to note and the first one is how to create a table I mean a database so we are going to look at how to create a database then the second thing we are going to look at how to create a table in that database we are also going to look at how to create or add the fields in the table then we are going to have a look through the choice of appropriate data types for each field then finally we are going to look at how to enter the records into the table so that is going to be our task for today particularly as we look at this question and let's have the start so we are now going to look at the first instruction which is creating a database with a name Kasare Limited and uh, to create a database we still follow the same steps that we use or that we follow when we are starting a word document or a spreadsheet program or a presentation program and still here we are going to go to the start and locate our program that we are going to use that is access we can scroll down through the programs that have been uh, used of recent and try to find access in case it takes a long time to locate it uh, we can as well search for it or we can still locate it under Microsoft Office because it's an office program it's right here access 2016 and there are program are started so we are going to create a blank database so we choose blank then the database name is Kasare Limited Kasare Limited uh, then after we browse to where we are going to uh, save our database it's going to be saved on the desktop for this case so I save it with that name Kasare Limited and there you go my database has been saved so I create and when database appears it appears with a default table because it's the default uh, object of a database and so a table has to appear now it's upon us to go and save this table the way they've told us but also remember that a table appears with the data sheet view and with one default uh, field which is id but remember that in our fields in the question we have we don't have a field called ID that means we have to modify this table and save it as we have been told to save so we are going to change the name of this table and as well add the fields that we have in our question so we go and change its view to design view because it's in design view where we are able to add the fields and as well assign them the data types so they told us the table name must be employee table so we come and give it the name employee table and save it so there you go our table is now in uh, design view so here in design view we can now start adding the fields the first field is called employee id so we come and add employee id and then if we check in the question here our second 
our second field is first name then we have last name we have date of birth and we have residence so we come and add them so the second field is first name then we have last name then we have date of birth and finally we have residence now the second task we have is to assign the appropriate data types for the first field when you look at the data we're going to enter it contains both letters and numbers that implies we have to make a choice of a data type that can satisfy both the letters and the numbers and if we look through the list of data types that we have it's text that can satisfy this so we go and assign it text and in this case it's going to be short text a name is a text last name is a text then for date of birth basically it has to be death, date and time that's the only data type that can work for that particular field and once we ensure that we have finished uh, adding all the fields plus their correct data types then we go and choose the primary key we look through the fields that we have and look for that field that can uniquely identify the records in the table and uh, if we check through then it's employee id that can only be assigned the primary key so you come and assign the primary key and indeed it's already here once this symbol over here appears then you know that field has been assigned a primary key so finally we come and view our table in datasheet view and there you go our table has appeared with all the records i mean with all the fields so we are now tasked to do the second uh, instruction and that is adding the records to the table so we go and look at our records and start adding them when you check the first record is called mgm001 the first name is davis last name is lutakome date of birth is 15th of november 1980 and the residence is mawito so we go to our database and add that record so the record is m g m stroke 001 first name is davis the last name is lutakome and date of birth is 15th of November 1980 the residence is Mawaito so that is our first record added now we go on to add all the other records as so now we can see that our table has been uh, already uh, populated with all our records as assigned in the question and so at this point we are now uh, done with the points that we highlighted in our question we have looked at how to create a database we have looked at how to create a table in the database we have also looked at how to create all other fields in the table we have looked at how to choose the data types for the fields and then finally how to enter the records into the table so with that we come to the end of our first question in database and uh, uh, i'm sure that at least everyone has been able to understand the basic or the starting point for database